My name is Emeka Onuba, and on behalf of our company, WFG, which stands for World Financial Group, I want to welcome all of you to our webcast this evening. I especially want to welcome our first-time listeners. I know someone invited you to take time out of your busy schedule to join us today, and uh, I want you to know we don't take that for granted. However, I strongly believe that the information you're about to hear over the next half hour or so could potentially change your life the way it has mine, the many families, and the thousands of people who've been able to benefit from our company. We recognize today that in our society today that many people are struggling financially, right? And it's not because of a lack of products or product providers, but we strongly believe that it's a lack of understanding and education. So our mission is to help families understand. We help them create, build, preserve, and transfer wealth long-term. As an ongoing commitment to this education, we have our proprietary book. I'd like to show it to you called our Saving Your Future book, which teaches basic principles of building a solid financial foundation. I wanna ask you, if you haven't read this book already, request a complimentary copy from whoever invited you here uh, this evening and go through it. It's a wealth of information that will not only open your eyes and educate you, but could serve as a reference in the future, all right? But today, I'm excited to talk to you about the possibility of building your future, taking control of your money, all right? And here's why. Because like I said earlier, we're facing challenging times today. A large number of people in North America will face increasing challenges in four major areas, all right? The first one is an uncertain labor market. And if you look at the two major factors that are creating this, those two are automation and globalization. You look at powerful software, you look at how fast technology is changing, it is rapidly changing, and yes, it's improving our quality of life, but it's displacing a lot of people because the same jobs that you and I had to do many years ago are now being replaced. Entire industries, entire jobs are becoming obsolete. Some people might find themselves going to school only to come out to a climate where what they went to school for is no longer needed or no longer exists. But you also look at globalization, right? Asia, emerging markets are able to provide the same products and services for a fraction of the price or a fraction of the cost. So in our vocabulary today in the working world or in the corporate world, we now hear of things like mergers, downsizing, acquisition, restructuring. All this really means is uh, uh, people are losing their jobs, they're getting laid off. Consequently, this is creating an environment where we're experiencing shorter and shorter productive life. Think about it. Today, it's common to hear people say, oh, I used to work here, and now I work here. Uh, I've worked three jobs since college. That was unheard of before. Today, many people may only find gainful employment averaging about five years per job between 25 to 45. And they may struggle to survive and retire beyond 45, well into retirement, right? And the high cost of education today, we want the younger generation to have a better uh, life than we do. But you look at the lack of overwhelming lack of preparation on our part, and that will hurt this younger generation and increase their college debt. But then you look at social programs that we used to depend on as part of the industrial age, where we were taught to go to school, get good grades, find a good company, trade in 30 or 40 years of your life, and in exchange for that loyalty, walk away with a nice pension, retirement, and social programs to take care of you. Those days are gone. Today, the shrinking uh, 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 worker base is putting enormous pressures on government uh, retirement programs, and these factors may result in the possibility of tax increases in the future. So the reality today is this, that while we do live in one of the wealthiest countries in the world, many people may still retire poor. So today, I want to share with you that your future is in your hands. Nobody is more interested in your financial future than you are. Not the government, not your employer, not your union, not your agent or broker, or even your children who are gonna have their own challenges in the future. It's in our hands and we can indeed do this. Most of us know how to make money. We can work a job or run a lucrative business and generate income. The challenge is that most of us don't know how to save that money or we don't save it efficiently. 
For those who do save, even fewer know how to grow and accumulate that money. And only a fraction, a small number of our, a percentage of our society understands the importance of preserving and transferring this wealth efficiently long term. But the truth is that you can learn these things. You can become your own money manager, understand how money works and make your money work for you. It's important that we build up a strong, a strong financial foundation as quickly as possible. We start right away, starting with adequate protection as a foundation, proper protection on your life. If you become sick, if you become disabled, that is the foundation that will take care of your loved ones if something happens to you prematurely, followed by debt management. Debt to me is a form of financial slavery. And many people are in this vicious cycle of earning income and before they even get it, they've already spent it. You must manage your debt or your debt will control you. Followed by an emergency fund. Emergencies happen and they tend to happen at the most inconvenient time. You need three to six months worth of your expenses in the event that something happens, like a job loss, right? Falling sick or natural disaster, something beyond our control. And now that we recognize that we have even shorter and shorter productive life, we must build up our savings and investments. We must think long term, 10 plus years, to give ourselves a shot to work and grow our money. This is the era, ladies and gentlemen, of the informed consumer. Why? Because we are in the information age. What happens here immediately, almost instantaneously, is available elsewhere. And what's happening overseas, we have access to right here. It's no wonder that. Because of advent of information, more and more people are learning how to get better deals to save more money on products and services that they use. I'll take myself as an example. Right? I'm, a cost, I'm a Sam's Club member. I pay $45 every year to be able to have access to some of those savings on the products that I purchase there. Some of us have gym memberships. I'm a member of 24-Hour Fitness, and I pay religiously every month, $30 a month. I may not look like I go to the gym, but I pay anyways, knowing that as a member, I have access to, the, to their equipment and their trainers. So from do-it-yourself home improvement to self-booking travel and so on and so forth, this is not new. Being a member and being part of something. WFG is looking to, our vision is to revolutionize the financial services industry. We're building a new industry. And our concept is to assist people who want to help themselves in building their financial future. And the truth is thousands of people from all walks of life, regardless of gender, income, background, status, uh, ethnicity, those things don't matter. They've been able to benefit from this incredible platform by getting educated in all aspects of their personal finance having access to hundreds of financial products and services, receiving training and support to manage their money, save money on various products and services, and earn commissions by getting licensed and sharing what they know with customers in this fast-growing yet lucrative industry. The truth is you can learn and you can simultaneously earn in this financial industry. In order to take control of your money, though, you need to understand how money works. You need to understand how the game is played. And the first concept, one of many that you would learn in this environment that I'd love to share is the X-curve concept. It's a powerful concept. It illustrates the relationship between building wealth and reducing your responsibility. You have two curves running in opposite direction. One is really your investment curve and the other is your protection or responsibility, insurance protection curve. The degree to which we move ourselves from a less secure to a more secure situation depends on how well we understand and apply this concept. It says, typically when we start off, we're relatively younger, right? We have parents, spouse, children we're responsible for, mortgage, credit cards, student loans, and so on, and so all kinds of debt. The income that we bring in today takes care of these responsibilities. And if we're lucky to have anything left over, we're hoping to build wealth with that. Therein already lies one of the problems because most people attend to attempt to save what is left after spending. And that's a recipe for disaster. We must learn to pay ourselves first and look to, sit, to, to spend what is left after saving. But what the X-curve says is while we're young with a lot of responsibilities, we need to have adequate protection to protect those responsibilities, protect the promises that we've made, right? But over time, as we're paying for that protection or insurance, right, 
the older we get, the more expensive it becomes typically. So by aggressively reducing the responsibility, paying off the house, getting the kids out the house and independent, paying off the debt, we have more money to keep. And with that money that we have to keep, we're able to build wealth even faster and aggressively. And we eventually will find ourselves in a more secure situation where we've amassed serious wealth with little or no responsibilities. In a nutshell, it just comes down to being responsible enough to take care of our families now and being disciplined and committed long enough to build our future, to take care of our future later. Now, how much protection do you need? And what should be your goal as far as accumulation of money. In the book, the Saving Your Future books, it talks about the 1020 rule, which says that you may need at least 10 times your income to properly protect your family and at least 20 times your income to have enough for retirement. So I want to talk about how you, because with limited or shorter productive life, you need to be able to put your money to work hard for you. And I want to talk about a powerful concept, a second one called the rule of 72 the magic of compound interest. And what it says is that if you divide the number 72 by the interest rate that you earn on your money, it will tell you how long it will take for your money to double. So let's use real, let's try to use an example or illustrate this for a second. Let's assume that all of us on this webcast, we're all the same age, we're all 29 years old, we all have respectively a single $10,000 investment, we wanna put this money away to let it go to work so that by retirement, we could use that to supplement our retirement income, okay? I hope that premise makes sense. Now, if you divide the number 72 by 4%, because we found a place that will earn us 4% rate of return, 72 divided by four is 18. Every 18 years, our money will double, okay? Now, 18 years later, when we're 47, 10,000 doubles to 20,000. 18 years later, when we're 65, 20,000 doubles to 40,000. You and I know it's already a struggle trying to survive off of 40 grand a year today, let alone attempting to supplement retirement 36 years from now with 40 grand. So let's look at possibly finding a better rate of return, doubling that return to 8%, not four, but eight. Over the same time frame, the net effect, because we have more iterations of nine years than we do 18, the net effect is that by 65, that same money has grown to 160,000. So notice something, doubling the interest rate didn't just double the potential yield, it quadrupled it. Let's look at 10%, a 2% increase from eight to 10. And look at the net effect. Because there are more iterations of 7.2 years in our lifetime, by 65, that same 10,000 has grown to $320,000, doubling what we could have had in the previous column. This is powerful because if you understand this, then the game now becomes finding a way to put your money to work hard for you. What do most people do, however? Most of us will barely save. When we do, we put our money in places that will earn us 4% or less. In fact, it will interest you to know that the average investor, in spite of all the different vehicles they use, only gets about 2.3% on average. And yet we are notorious for creating liabilities. We will turn around Right? And we will live in a quarter million dollar or half a million dollar mansion, drive a $50,000 luxury car, come out with tons of student loan debt, carry recurring credit card debt, and so on and so forth. For those of us who are worried about our credit, we will pay on time every time on debt growing. By the way, multiples of 10,000 growing at 8, 10, 15, 19% and higher. And we wonder why we cannot get ahead. We must go through a paradigm shift, reallocate our money so that it's working like the numbers on the right side of the column, and any debt, if at all we have any, we're paying them off quickly at rates like 4% or less. So these are just two of many concepts you can learn here, and just two of the many things that the wealthy people know that normal people don't. So if you're going to take control of your future or take control of your money, you need to understand what are the things that the wealthy know. Yes, they may have money working for them and people working for them, but they are acutely aware of where they're putting their money and how they work. So ask yourself, do you truly understand savings and investments, the different types of IRAs and, and plans, both here in the U.S. and Canada? Or are you only aware, I know most people I talk to in corporate America only know of their 401k. And without paying attention to the fees and charges that they're incurring on these accounts, they're not aware that they could actually be reducing their balance by up to 30% being exposed to these fees and charges. 
Many others have worked for other firms. One company here, five years there, 10 years there, and they have all these money sitting in so many places. Do you understand how to roll over your money or your IRA or your 401k to work better for you? Do you understand how mutual funds work? Or are you prematurely investing in sophisticated programs that you don't understand? Do you realize that interest on savings accounts that are too low to offset the silent and the blatant killers of money, inflation and taxes, that low interest could cause you to be safely losing money every day? Did you know that? Many people are not even aware of that effect and they watch their account balances growing each year but not realizing it's not growing fast enough. It's not retaining its purchasing power in the future. Many people will face the problem of living a long life without adequate income. In fact, that is the number one fear of most retirees, running out of money. With proper understanding and preparation, you can build up your future retirement. The wealthy also understand life insurance. You know, there's been significant evolution from where we were many years ago to where we are today. From term to whole life to universal to variable and now to index universal life. A shift in focus and application from a death benefit to more of a living benefit. Many people are still stuck in the 60s, only aware of term and whole life. And it's like being stuck in an era of pagers and flip phones. When today most of us are familiar with smartphones that do so much, it's the same thing today. Others are only are dependent on the group insurance at their workplace, not realizing that when they leave that job or get fired, they may not be able to take it with them. Do you know how to properly calculate how much you need? Alternate calculation methods to make sure that you're properly insured. Yes, having 10,000, 20, or 50,000 at your job for free is good, but it's not good enough if you're not properly protecting your family. Are you even insurable? You know, many people are walking around today not realizing that the risk of developing or dying from some form of critical or chronic illness is on the rise. You know, a good friend of mine, a mentor here, 40 years old is what is his age today. But last year at 39, he went through quintuple bypass surgery, five blockages in his artery. Today, he's completely uninsurable. No one will touch him. But when he could, while he could, he got as much as he could. His family is very well set. And he told me lying there, thinking he was about to, to exit this world, he was at peace. Can you say the same thing? For those of us who are business owners, have you heard about second to die policies, key person plans and executive bonus life plans that will preserve the integrity of your business? And do you know that the wealthy understand how to use cash value life insurance? as a repository for housing and shielding serious money from taxes. Let me explain. They're able to grow their money, tax deferred, their contributions, avoided taxes, and interest are able to grow tax deferred. They're able to access this money tax-free and efficiently and effectively transfer this wealth or this money tax-free as a death benefit. Do you know how that works? Or are you the type of person who buys insurance, puts it in a cabinet, and never looks at it again? Look, we can learn how to properly protect our family with, un with the proper understanding. And I want to quickly talk about a tax issue of money because it doesn't matter how you earn that income or where you put it. There are only three major buckets that it could fall in. Tax now, tax later, and tax advantage. The overwhelming majority of people out there have their money in the first two, tax now and tax later. But it will interest you to know that more than 60%, 65%, of the monies inside of tax advantage programs belong to less than 10% of the population. That's because the wealthy know how to play this game. Others in tax later plans are exposing themselves to access traps with penalties, distribution traps, the inherent tax trap of delaying and compounding our tax problem, and a death trap when it's all said and done. Look, each bucket has its purpose. You need to understand how it works and how to utilize them and reallocate your money, reposition your money so that the bulk of your wealth are in tax advantage programs. And you can learn these things. You know, today our top marginal tax rate is about 39.6%. And that may seem high, but when you recognize that not so long ago, the top marginal tax rate was over 70%, wow, you will see that now pales in comparison to many years ago. And when you look at the burden on our, on our uh, social programs today, there are now only three workers per retiree versus 40 uh, back in 1945. And when you look at our national debt, 
right? It's, 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 it's easy to infer that taxes possibly could be going up in the future. You can learn how to manage these accounts like the wealthy do and manage your risk exposure to future possible taxes because we don't know what they will be. Even the government doesn't know what they will be. Let's talk about living too long. You know, statistically speaking, ladies and gentlemen, two out of every three of us on this call will luckily see or live past age 90. I think it's a wonderful thing thanks to medical technology. But wow, it would be really a nightmare if we don't have any money to take care of us and enjoy a decent lifestyle with that prolonged life. Do you know how to ensure that you don't run out of money? How annuities work and the lifetime income provisions that they provide. You know, two of the biggest accounts of former Federal Reserve Chairman, Mr. Ben Bernanke, are in annuities. There's a reason for that. Do you know how to use them? And are you using them? You look at the, high, the rise in, in the cost of long-term care today. Consequently, because two out of three of us will live to see age 90 and live a long life, consequently, two out of three of us, statistically speaking, may need some form of long-term care or will trigger some form of long-term care. And if you do, it doesn't really matter how much you've saved up. It's one of the things that could wipe out your retirement assets almost overnight. Many people have filed bankruptcy because they developed cancer or some kind of critical illness or triggered long-term care in retirement. You don't want that to be you. You can learn these things and apply them accordingly. For those who may have medical issues and underwriting challenges, final expense plans exist, concierge services exist that can take away that burden of funeral arrangements in times of crisis so that your loved ones are not exposed to salespeople taking advantage of a vulnerable situation. Do you expect the government or your children to take care of you if you live too long? We can prepare for our golden years. Let's talk about the new epidemic, which is the high cost of education. Because for the first time in our country's history, college debt has surpassed consumer debt, something that would have been unheard of and laughed at by any economist many years ago. Determining the most cost-effective, tax-efficient way to fund a college education is not always easy. And many parents would rather shower their kids with gifts, not think about it, hope that somehow things will work themselves out. Nothing could be further from the truth. You, have, you must understand college costs, the admissions process, financial aid, how to navigate this complex funding system, and how to minimize your out-of-pocket costs. We can't put so much time into the same old thing of just trying to raise our kids and become unwilling to look into planning their future. We can take charge of that. And the last thing I want to point out here that the wealthy are very aware of is legacy planning. You know, it's said, I've heard, uh, interestingly, that the wealthy plan for three generations or more and normal people plan or poor people plan for a Saturday night. They understand that it's not just good enough to accumulate wealth. It's important to protect it preserve and transfer it. That's some of the things that we, we hear are called old money. But I believe that at some point, somebody said the buck stops here. That line of poverty stops right here and they created new money. And through that transfer of wealth became old money. Every one of us here can put ourselves in a position to do that. And if you think for a second that you need to have millions of dollars first or a lot of assets before you start planning uh, going through proper legacy planning, I'd like you to think, think again and ask yourself, who will care for your underage children? How will you keep your 18-year-old from spending his or her inheritance? Who will get your home? Who inherits your bank accounts? Can you avoid family arguments over your belongings and keepsakes? Who will operate and own your business? Who decides your health care or end-of-life decisions? Do you even have a will or trust or the proper document? Because it doesn't matter what you intended what you hoped, what you said, what you promised, all that matters is what you documented. And without the proper documentation, people without your vested interest and your family's interest at heart could be carrying out those wishes and making those decisions on your behalf if something happened to you prematurely. So why am I sharing all this with you? Because I want to now point out the wonderful privileges when you, when you take the step to become an associate member of World Financial Group and look to control your time and your money. You can begin a, your career like I did back in, November of, uh, back in July of 2005 
complete a membership agreement and for a one-time administrative fee of $100 in the US, 125 in Canada, you can become a member here. So contrast this to my recurring monthly membership fees at the gym or my annual membership fees at Sam's Club. And I look at what I get there compared to what I've been able to enjoy here over the past 10 years. No comparison. Let me share with you three tiers of membership privileges here at our firm. The first are immediate membership privileges, which come by way of corporate discounts. For example, for those of you who may have an AT&T uh, service provider for your cell phone, you can enjoy 22% off your plan. For those with Verizon or Sprint, 15% off your plan. Those could come out to be significant savings. You look at the ability to shop around for your auto, home, renter's insurance, or put in place your legacy plan, right? Uh, or uh, uh, leverage uh, um, Heartland or one of the programs here to start working towards your kid's college education. You're able to do these things and redirect, or let me say this, recapture the monies that you're already spending through savings, recapture some of those monies and put those monies to work for you. And did you know that just if you could save $10 a day, just from the discounts that you're able to enjoy here, $10 a day or $300 a month at an 8% rate of return, compounded monthly over the next 30 years could come out to almost half a million dollars. What if you could save more? Better yet, how many people do you know who would also want to save more money on these products and services? A ton of them. My family, my friends, my loved ones, they all do. And did you know that by referring this to them, giving them a shot also to have access to these products and services, you can also earn referral income in addition to your savings. Now, what if with those savings you could save more money? Can you see how bright the future could look, right? I love that by being a member here, I'm able to receive financial education. We offer training classes, and at any one of our financial centers strategically located all across North America, you can come in and we will provide you knowledge, strategies, and solutions in major areas of financial services. And you can learn the basics of insurance and that evolution investments in how to plan for your retirement, healthcare, education, and legacy planning. And we offer a personal financial analysis, giving you information and working with you so you can start now to plan and execute and build your financial future. You know, I compare this to the traditional way that most people go out to seek and get this information. For those who are looking online and bombarded with all kinds of jargon, it's hard to sift through all that noise to figure out what is real and what isn't. For those who go to school, you, they come out with tons of debt, only able to learn, hoping to come out and be able to apply and possibly earn after they have learned in a shrinking or challenging job climate. Here, being a member, you're able to learn and at the same time, put yourself in a position to earn. That's powerful. Knowledge is wealth, but you won't be wealthy unless you understand how money works and you apply the knowledge that you acquire. The enhanced privilege here, one step above the immediate privileges, is becoming a professional. Building a financial services business, taking control over your time and your income. You know, I learned years ago that the only way to control, have significant control over your time and your income is to own something, own your own business. And I want you to know that if you want to share your knowledge and experience that you're able to gain here and you want to make more money around a flexible time, commitment and schedule, we will help you get your licenses here like they did for me. Thanks to the size of our distribution, you're able to represent the best that the industry has to offer. And now able to build a large base of multi-product using clients and build a big organization throughout the U.S. and Canada, right? And we have a proven track record. I want you to know it is absolutely worth it attempting to become a professional here. For those of us who are licensed members, I've been a licensed member since November of 2005. For those of us, we enjoy over $10 million in commissions paid out weekly to us, right? for those who are appropriately licensed. Almost 5,000 of us earn over $100,000 a year. And interestingly enough, many people do that part-time. How, how wonderful is that? That around a part-time or flexible time commitment and schedule, you could be put in a position to earn a six-figure income. But make no mistake about it. I want you to know that this is a serious and lucrative uh, business career for those who choose to transition and make it a full-time venture. 
For those of us who are full-time, let me share some interesting numbers with you. One out of two of us earns over 50,000 a year. One out of four full-timers earns over 100,000 a year. One out of 27 earns over half a million a year. And one out of 79 earns over a million dollars a year. It's incredible for those who plant their flag and decide to put in everything to build a wonderful career. But you know what? Lifestyle. You cannot put a price tag on lifestyle. Prior to coming here, I'd only been to Atlanta, Georgia by road, all right? Since coming here, and I had already been in this country, in Houston, Texas, for seven years, bordered by all I knew was just the, the, the corners of Houston, Texas. Since, since coming here, on my own expense, I've been able to travel to well over 25 different cities in different states. My airfare, meals, rental, gas, hotel, all those things, tax write-off because I'm a professional and those are business expenses. I'm legally able to serve my clients, generate more income and legally and ethically able to pay less taxes, right? The corporate, the wealthy know how to play that game. But it's even better when the company is taking care of your expenses and your trips. And thanks to this wonderful platform, I've been able to participate and qualify for some of the dream trips around the world that we have every year. And you too can do the same thing. Three years ago, I, I got a chance to go to Vietnam and Cambodia, by far my best trip ever. Two years ago to Paris, last year to uh, Thailand and Singapore, earlier this year to Barcelona and Madrid. And for my soccer fans on this webcast, you must be familiar with FC Barcelona, with Messi and the rest of the crew. And I never thought in a million years that I'd be sitting in a field watching these superstars whoop a team 6-0 while screaming at the top of my voice and hugging and high-fiving my family and many friends that I've been able to build here in this environment. Next year, we're going to Rio for those who qualify and to Japan. We enjoy a great lifestyle, but more importantly, we build wonderful associations. Some of my best friends, trusted relationships, and my circle of influence have been built right in this environment, right? That's powerful. But I want you to know the ultimate privilege is being part of a historic movement being part of a new industry, locking hands with us and building something incredible because we are in a multi-trillion dollar industry backed by a multi-billion dollar company. Uh, we're, we're running out of time, so let me just make this quick. Let me just elaborate on this real quick. Multi-trillion dollar industry. I'm talking to the tune of 70 plus trillion dollars. Why? Because it's the source and the destination of every other industry. That's why it's the biggest. But let's talk about our financial backing. Transamerica, which is in, a part of the Aegon conglomerate, multi-billion with a B to the tune of 540 plus billion dollars. That's the kind of financial backing that gives us a chance to participate in one of the best, in fact, in my opinion, the premier platform for getting into and building a business in financial services. We are one of the fastest growing organizations and every one of us as a result can build a multi-million dollar business. We want to revolutionize the financial industry, ladies and gentlemen, and help to resolve the consumer's dilemma of lack of understanding, planning, and support. We are one of the few voices in people's ears for those who are members here, telling them, save, invest, build, grow, preserve, leave a legacy. Whereas others, as opposed to being out there where we're exposed to subtle messages to spend, 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 like everybody else. So to end this, in conclusion, I want you to know this, all right? For a one-time $100 membership fee, you can start your career here and come here, right, and compare provider financial products and services, reduce your debt, and increase your savings. You can come here and get educated on how money works, become your own money manager, have access to financial information, obtain the know-how that successful people have. You can come here and build something incredible by educating and helping people build a solid financial foundation. You can come here, put yourself in a position to become financially independent, travel the world, expand your associations, build an elite circle of influence. In my opinion, you have everything to gain with World Financial Group. And like Bill Gates said, and I quote, if you're born poor, it's not your mistake. But if you die poor, it's your mistake. We cannot control how we come into this world, uh, but we're trying to eliminate ignorance as a possible excuse for people not getting ahead. 
You won't be able to say, I didn't know, no one told me, I didn't have access to it, because with our platform, we're eliminating those things and give, empowering people to take control of their future. So thank you so much uh, for listening to this webcast today. I urge you, let this not be good information. It sounds great, it, it makes sense, you understand, you see the value, but then you have all the best intentions, but you take no action. I wanna ask you, get with the person who invited you right away. Sit down and any unanswered questions, give them a chance to answer them for you, but take action. Let them work with you, help you get started, help you with your membership application, Come into one of our many financial centers and start to educate yourself and take advantage of these tiered privileges that we enjoy, all right? I look forward to serving many of you uh, with your financial needs in the future, and I also look forward to working with some of you and, 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 and celebrating many successes with you as we lock hands, join forces, and build and be part of a new industry. Thank you so much for participating tonight. Good night. And God bless.